Hello, my YouTube friends. Isn't that a cute little baby knife? You know, these days, uh, this one has everything uh, that could please me. Uh, as I said in a previous video, these days I am prone, you know, to go for or very, very big blades or small, tiny, tiny, tiny blades. Uh, because I figured that uh, between, you know, 3-inch blade and 4-inch blade, I have really, really plenty of uh, knives. So, I am more uh, stimulated uh, today, uh, to tell you the truth, even by the, the smaller blades, even, uh, even better than the bigger one. The smaller, you know, really, I, I grew fond, uh, fond for these knives. Uh, the last one that I received, I made a video out of it, and that is the Curtis Compact F3. It is a small knife, 2.30 something uh, inch blade. Look how big it is <laughs> compared to this little baby. Look at my, my pinky is, is bigger, my pinky is bigger than this small knife. So here we go for the size comparison. You know what, since today, I came prepared, uh, not for the video actually, but uh, usually I have two or three knives on myself. Uh, here is uh, the Amnum Zan. Man, do I like this uh, version, the Startup version of the Amnum Zan, the collaboration with. Uh, uh, oh, come on, I forgot the name uh, for uh, Wilson Combat. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, I also made a video out of this one. So, yeah, uh, it was mainly for the size comparison. Look at that. This is a small, small, small knife. It is a baby knife. Look at that. The compact is seems really like a huge knife compared to this one. Look at that. How beautiful can that be? Okay, so you got your time, my friend. So now let's talk about this uh, Mazarin Dolphin. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I can't stop looking at that uh, that small knife. Really, my, my daughter, I mean, she felt for this one, and I think that I, have, I need to buy one for her and also one for my son, because everyone, you know, grew fun for this knife. And even my wife, uh, that usually is not uh, really the, the kind of knife uh, person, uh, she grew fun for this knife. And, and I dare any one of you, not to fall in love with this knife. It had everything uh, for uh, you to, to, to love about this knife. So, it's not an American knife. Uh, it's made by Mazarin, uh, which is one of the company uh, in uh, Maniago, Italy. And you all know that uh, there in Italy, in this small uh, town, uh, kind of like uh, in Seki City, in Japan, uh, they make uh, really absolutely great knife uh, and these days you know I'm really uh, into their knives uh, as I can be also for the German knives uh, in Solingen uh, Germany uh, yeah that's Solingen Germany great knives Maniago Italy great knives uh, Seki City Japan great knives um, and this one comes from a quite ancient um, uh, brand Mazarin uh, I've think, if I remember correctly, that they doing some knives for decades now, like uh, the 60s. I think in the 60s, uh, they already uh, they already produced the knives. So it's a very well-known uh, brand, uh, actually, overseas. Uh, yeah, I grew fun for these knives. Yeah, for those of you who start to know me, you know why. Uh, it's small, there for sure, and it has a blue G10 scales. And do I love those blue G10 scales. Todd Sticker, my friend Rick, this is for you. <laughs> I know that you do love those Blue G10 and I highly recommend that you buy this knife. Uh, it is, I wouldn't say expensive because you don't pay, uh, I think that you don't pay a knife uh, for the amount of blade or handle that you have. Uh, the mechanism is all there is. I mean, uh, I didn't discuss that uh, in my videos previously, but I think uh, that it is quite, quite, quite the same price for a manufacturer to bring a knife that small or uh, even twice the size. Uh, the mechanism, the pivot, you, you still have to make a pivot, you still have to make uh, hardware, uh, you still have to make a blade. I mean, uh, if it's bigger, I'm not sure that really uh, it, it is um, 
I mean, uh, it has to be really more, more, more expensive. It's not really the material that counts uh, for that matter. So it's, uh, to come back to the price, it's uh, 40, I paid that 48 euro. I have no clue if you can get that in the United States, uh, but in eBay, uh, you have a seller uh, from Austria uh, and you can buy from, uh, from him. He's got all the line. Uh, and I highly recommend uh, for you to check this knife. Really, really excellent knife. Um, yeah, let's make an overview. Look at all the features in this knife I like. Look at the standoffs here. They went with the ball. I mean, uh, that's the first time that I see that on a knife. And isn't that excellent? Look at that. Balls as standoffs. That is just great. Look how thick the, the, the bad boy is. Uh, you have the, the handles, the blue G10 handles, and really thick liners, in my opinion, you know. Compare that to the, you know, look at that. Compare that, you know, it is as thick as the compact F3, uh, which is a thick knife uh, for its size. As thick or even thicker. That is incredible. So that's really a feature that I like, and those uh, ball standoffs are really, really amazing. Amazing. Pillar construction, it's always, uh, always better for maintenance. Uh, the shape, what can I say about the shape? It's absolutely excellent. While we're here, you, you figured that there is no clip in it. Uh, yeah, you can live without. Uh, I thought that it was an issue first, but uh, not at all actually, because you know it, it's so small that it goes, you know, in the in the pocket like that. I have my belt, you know, it goes like that, and you don't even see it. It stays in the pocket like that, so it doesn't bother. So whenever you want to use it, you take it out of your pocket, and that's okay. You don't need a clip. I mean, uh, it stays in any uh, any small pocket. It will get in or in your pocket. I mean. It's even better because you get to enjoy more the the, the absolutely awesome handle. Should there be a, a clip here, it would spoil the beauty of this uh, of this handle. So uh, this is a fun knife, my friend. This is a fun knife for a small knife like that. Usually, it's very hard to get to the thumb stud, and it's very hard uh, opening. Look at this one. I mean, it is. I've got really fairly large hands and really believe me, my friend, when I tell you that the opening is just buttery smooth uh, and the access to the, the thumb stud, it's very, very easy, very easy opening, okay? It's a liner lock. Uh, it's on its best best day today. That is the only flaw that, uh, that it has. Uh, it's that the liner, uh, it, it's a solid liner, huh? you see that, but it travels, yeah, you see, if I push a little bit like that, it will over travel you see but i don't care because uh, really uh, it, it is a strong liner there is no movement whatsoever so that's fine by me that's fine by me uh, I, I don't see it fail uh, anytime soon uh, no way in hell and you don't want to use this knife for uh, to baton or to to do any uh, any outdoor purposes this is uh, uh, most definitely a, a, a really nice edc uh, it's great so yeah Again, uh, that, that is not uh, an, an issue at all, at all. And again, very, very easy to open with the thumb stud. Uh, but you know what? First of all, you, you need to, to get to, to open it because you see this feature here. What is that? Would it be a glass breaker, a skull crusher for a knife that small? I don't think, I don't think that it could be used for that purpose. But anyway, why not? And so I figured, why in hell did they put that feature? And also, you know, when you open it like that, it goes, you know, in contact with your finger. So when you're not used to that, it can hurt, you know, when you open it like that. And you say, oh, what the heck? Why did they put that? Uh, it, it's pointless. It's useless to have this feature. So, you know what? After turning around, turning around, turning around, I figured it. Uh, uh, you don't see it described uh, that often because you don't find uh, the, uh, this knife really advertised on uh, on YouTube. But even the one, the couple of video that you have on it, uh, they don't talk about that feature. And I think I might be wrong, but I think that if they put it that way, it is to open the knife like that. <laughs> Isn't that excellent, my friend? This is uh, nothing less than a flipper. 
And believe me when I tell you that uh, my wife and kids, I, whenever I discovered that, I was on, in the car, uh, and whenever I discovered that, I was just like, tick, opening, closing, tick, opening, closing. They were getting nuts in the car. Isn't that crazy feature, my friends? That is just an insane feature because on the small knife like that, you have not only a nice opening with the thumb stud, but you have this amazing, amazing flipper. How many knives, my friends, do you have with that features? Small knives like that with a feature so, so, you know, you need to have this. All of you, my friends, for those of you who watch my video, buy it. Buy it because you will fondle this knife like no other knife. It is just fun to play with. Uh, this feature, the flipper like that, I mean, uh, what can I say? Uh, I, I can't stop. I'm sorry if I bother you. I'm sure that like my uh, wife, son and daughter, you must be mad at me now. You want to kill me. Oh, I failed this one. Ah, dramatically failed, failed this one. You must be mad at me because, you know, it's beginning to be annoying. So I will stop, but not before, uh, again, telling you that this is just a hell of a feature and it is so fun, you couldn't believe it. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, you know, everything is kind of perfect with this knife. It's kind of thick blade also. I didn't mention it, but... Uh, the blade uh, is uh, AUS 8. So it comes crazy sharp out of the box. And as you all know, it's a, it's a small, um, uh, it's a tender uh, steel, so it's very easy to, to resharpen. Uh, I kind of like AUS 8. You know, it's not really a very uh, funky uh, steel, but uh, it's okay for every day. It's very okay. It's very fine because you get to sharpen very easy. Uh, Valpato design, yeah, whatever, who cares? Uh, lanyard hold, why not? Uh, I'm not sure that you can put uh, any lanyard in it, and that would be, you know, uh, a nice, probably nice uh, um, additive, you know, to put a lanyard here. Uh, for those of you who would need to have a grip uh, over it and two fingers, because that's what you get with this knife, my friends. You have a grip with two fingers, but, 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 uh, this grip is enough. Let me try uh, to explain. It is enough because you have here a kind of guard here that secures the grip. And here, look at that. What do we have here? Eh, hey, yeah, jimping with uh, a ramp, but on the other side. It's not the ramp that you usually have here. You can't uh, have the knife like that, but it will move. But it is so clever. Uh, this uh, ramp on the other side makes it for you, you, you secure the knife with the two fingers here and here you push it like that. And believe me, when you have that grip, that won't go anywhere because while putting the, your thumb here, you push the handle to the fingers here. So that makes for an absolutely secure grip. So with two fingers, even like that, even with one finger, even with one finger like that, you have a very, very secured and you can make serious cutting task with the, the knife in that position like that. It is just absolutely clever. Uh, everything, I think they, they thought everything with this knife. Uh, this, is not, this is not on purpose uh, to put the, jim, uh, the jimping here. It's not on purpose. This is not on purpose either also for the, you know, funny, uh, the funny flipping. Uh, everything is perfect. Look. It's, it's dolphin, you know, it's a small dolphin for sure. You know, I get to become again uh, a little child when I have this knife in hand. So, my friends, I was really happy to make this video because you don't find uh, that often. Uh, I think that there is a couple of videos about this one. So, yeah, uh, that was my uh, uh, my genuine purpose uh, of doing video on YouTube. It was to talk about to really not well advertised knife and uh, to talk in a fashion, uh, you know, in a way, sorry, uh, that it's not really, uh, really done uh, on YouTube. And I think that I made my point with this one. Hopefully, uh, you know, feel free to leave any comments 
uh, in the in the section. But uh, as you all heard, uh, uh, I'm just mad, mad, mad for this knife. As uh, you would all be, I'm sure you would all become mad for this knife if ever you have it in hand. So it's not a, a lot of money to spend to get it. Uh, you know what? Just buy it. Go on eBay, buy this knife, pay the custom if you have to, not a problem. Uh, but you will most definitely enjoy this knife, that is for sure. And for, for those of you who like uh, clips, whatever, uh, they make uh, some knives with clips, but you don't get to have the Blue G10 uh, scale. I think that they do that with the kind of uh, ebony wood. Uh, with the uh, with a clip, a titanium kind of nice clip actually, a titanium uh, uh, anodized in blue uh, clip. So check out know, their website, uh, and that would be one of the great purchases that you can have. Okay, I'll catch you for another video. Bye, -bye guys, and uh, thank you for watching.